Hi everyone, this is Ben Dunnett from musictheoryacademy.com. In this session, we're going to have a look at the circle of fifths. Now, I'm really excited about this because I know if you can get your head around the circle of fifths, then it will definitely take your musicianship onto the next level. So, I'm going to grab some paper, I'm going to grab a pen, and we're going to jump straight into this. Okay, so we're going to have a look at how to draw a circle of fifths. And we're going to do this in three different stages just so you've got a chance to pause and have a think about it between each stage. Okay, firstly, we start with a circle. Um, I've drawn one with a compass because I'm not very good at drawing circles uh, freehand. Um, you can draw it freehand um, if you'd like or use a, use a compass to do it, to do it properly. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in the numbers. Now, all you need to do is think of this like a clock face. We're going to put naught at the top and then we're going to go around the right-hand side of the clock face one, two, three, four, five, six, and then stop when we get to seven. Okay, we're then gonna go back to the top of our clock face and we're gonna number it the other way, um, so anti-clockwise, um, but using the same number system. So one, two, three, four, five, six is already there, and seven, okay. So we've got seven numbers, naught to seven, round the right-hand side, okay, and seven numbers round the left-hand side, naught to seven. The right-hand side is going to tell us something about sharps, okay, and the sharps in different keys. The left-hand side is going to tell us about flats, okay? So the right-hand side is telling us about sharps, the left-hand side the numbers are telling us about flats. Okay, so we've got the numbers in place. The second thing you have to do is get the letters in place, and these are gonna tell us the keys. Um, now, we need to know that the top one is C. Okay, so we're gonna put a C at the top there. Now, here we get to um, the tricky bit that you just have to take a little bit of time to think about and work through in your mind. This is why it's called the circle of fifths. It's called the circle of fifths because the difference between the letters as we go round the circle is the interval of a perfect fifth. Now you can count this up using the alphabet. So if you start on C, you've got C, then D, then E, then F, then G, and the fifth one you get to is G. So we know the next one here is G. Now you could keep using the alphabet all the way around. However, you're gonna get into problems because you don't know whether it's G natural, G flat, G sharp, all those different questions. So what you need to do, and if you have a look at this keyboard, um, you'll be able to see how this works, is the interval of a perfect fifth is also the same as going up seven semitones. So if we have a look at this keyboard here, we start on C, if we go up seven semitones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we land on G, okay? So the difference of a perfect fifth between C and uh, 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 C up a perfect fifth, we get to G. Now, if we come back to the circle again, okay, we've got to G, we then need to jump up another perfect fifth, okay? So have another look at the keyboard. This time, if we go up seven from G, seven semitones, we get up and we get to the letter D. Okay, and this just keeps going round. We're jumping up by a perfect fifth or seven semitones each time we go round. So we've gone from C to G, we go from G to D, we go from D to A, we go from A to E, we go from E to B, now this is a tricky one, and if you have a look at the, this is why it's important that you use the seven semitones rather than just counting up using the alphabet, is B, if you go up a perfect fifth or seven semitones, you get to F sharp, and then if you go up seven semitones or a perfect fifth from F sharp, you get to C sharp. Okay, so those are the different major keys that have sharps in their key signatures. So as long as you make sure you've got that perfect fifth between each of them, 
then you can build up the sharps. Okay. If we go around to the other side, to the flats, this time, <coughs> instead of going up a perfect fifth, we are going to go down a perfect fifth. That makes sense, really, because we're going the other way around um, the clock face. So if we start on C, and have a look at this keyboard, and we come down seven semitones, we get to F. So back to the clock face, we put F next to one. If we start on F and go back seven semitones, go back a perfect fifth, we get to B flat. So we need to keep this going round our circle. So we've gone from F, we go to B flat, from B flat, we go to E flat, from E flat, we go to A flat, from A flat, we go to D flat here, from D flat, we go to G flat, and from G flat, we finish up at C flat. Okay, so we've got the numbers and the keys around the right hand side of the sharps, the numbers and the keys around the left hand side for the flats. This little area here looks a bit confusing for the moment. Okay, so let's just have a think about that. Um, D flat and C sharp, G flat and F sharp, and C flat and B, if you look on a keyboard, are actually the same notes okay, that are played on the keyboard. These are called N harmonic equivalents. And what it basically means is this is the same sounding note, but they are described in two different ways. Okay, so that we can, we'll, and we'll come back to that in a bit. So that's the first bit of our, of our um, circle of fifths done. And what does this show us? Well, the great news is this shows us how many sharps or flats are in all of the major keys. Okay, so C major has no sharps, no flats. G major has one sharp. D major has two sharps. A major has three sharps, E major has four sharps, B major has five sharps, F sharp major has six sharps, C sharp major has seven sharps. Shows us how many flats there are. F major has one flat, B flat major has two flat, E flat major has three flats, and so on, all the way through to C flat major that has seven flats. So we now know how many sharps or flats are in each of the major keys. What we don't know yet is which sharps are in certain keys. So we know that D major has two sharps, but we don't know yet which those sharps are. Um, in order to learn this, um, you actually need to learn two uh, little rhymes to get, this, uh, to get this right. The rhymes for the sharps, um, and there's lots of different rhymes that people have made up over time about these, but these are two that I find uh, stick in the head. For the sharps, the rhyme is Father Christmas gave Dad an electric blanket. Father Christmas gave Dad an electric blanket. For the flats, it's blanket explodes and dad gets cold feet. Blanket explodes and dad gets cold feet. Um, so let's have a quick look at these two in uh, turn. What they show us is which sharps and flats are in the key. So if we take G major and our rhyme, Father Christmas gave dad, etc., etc., the first um, uh, letter on that is F. So we know G has one sharp and it's F sharp. Move on to D major, Father Christmas, F, C, has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. Move on to A major, okay, A major has three sharps, so we need Father Christmas gave, F, C, G. We know that A major has three sharps, F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. Okay, this works all the way around up to and including C sharp major, which has seven sharps. Father Christmas gave dad an electric blanket. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. Okay, also works with the flats. Blanket explodes and dad gets cold feet. So F major, it has one flat. Beginning of the rhyme, blanket, B, it's B flat. Okay, B flat major has two flats. So blanket explodes, B flat, E flat. 
Okay, E flat major has three flats, blanket explodes and B, E, A. Three flats, B flat, E flat and A flat. Again, this works all the way around till you get to C flat major here. Okay, blanket explodes and dad gets cold feet. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat and F flat. Okay, so if you can combine the basic circle that we put together in part one and also the two little uh, rhymes to remember the sharps and the flats, then you'll be able to know how many sharps or flats are in the key, but you'll also be able to name which ones they are. The final bit of the circle of fifths that we're going to put, put together um, is uh, the minor keys. Okay? All of these round the outside here are telling us what the key signature of the major keys is. But what we don't know at the moment is the minor keys. Now the way that you work this out um, is by having an understanding that every major key has a relative minor. In other words, it has a minor key which has the same key signature as it. Okay, so let me start by telling you C major has a mi relative minor of A minor. Now, the way you work this out is um, uh, you look on your keyboard, okay, look at the major key, so we're going to look at C here, and you count down three semitones. So if you count down three semitones from C, you get to A. And so we know that the relative minor of C major is A minor. Let's move on to the next one. We've got G major here. Look on a keyboard, count down three semitones from G, and you get to E. So the relative minor of G major is E minor. Now we can keep going round the circle here, um, counting down three semitones from each um, of these, and we will get all of um, the, uh, the different relative minors of each of these, um, uh, the, the, each of these major keys here. Okay. It also works exactly the same for the flat. Count down three semitones from, uh, from F, you get to D. Count down three from B flat, you get to G, and so on around the, uh, around the circle. Um, and then you get B flat here, you get um, E flat here, and then finally here, you will get A flat minor there. So the ones in the middle are telling us the minor keys. And interestingly enough, the difference between all of these, again, going up down around this way is up a perfect fifth, and going back that way is down a perfect fifth. So that is the basic circle of fifths. If you start with the numbers, add on the letters, remembering to go up a perfect fifth or seven semitones, and then down a perfect fifth or seven semitones for the flat side of things. Okay, you can then add in your minor keys by simply counting down three semitones from there. So there are a few little stages to that, um, and I suggest you, you have a look back over the video um, uh, and, and see what it's like. At the bottom uh, of this, um, of this lesson uh, on, on the site, I've produced a PDF um, of a circle, so you can, uh, you can print off those and, and, and get cracking on that. I've also um, produced a finished um, circle of fifths um, for you. you can feel free to print that off, download it, and, uh, and use it for your, um, for your reference. Anyway, I hope that helps, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Go to www.musictheoryacademy.com to get more free music theory lessons and take your musicianship to the next level.